Stroke is the number three cause of death in the United States. Its appearance can be sudden and its effects life-threatening. Joining us from Martha Jefferson HealthWise today is Dr. Alex Grunsfeld, Director of Stroke and Neurocritical Care, here to talk about TPA. Now, this is the only drug approved by the Food and Drug Administration for the acute treatment of stroke. Thank you so much for joining us tonight, Dr. Grunsfeld. Thank you for having me. Okay, can you share some details with us on the TPA drug? Yes, TPA stands for Tissue Plasminogen Activator. It's a thrombolytic drug or a clot-busting drug that has been used for quite some time to treat heart attacks. In 1996, the FDA approved it in selected patients for the treatment of acute ischemic stroke. And specifically then, how does TPA help someone from having a, a stroke? Well, TPA works and is effective by literally dissolving a clot that is blocking blood flow to the brain. Uh, it's important to know that Evidence from studies has demonstrated that the sooner the TPA is given, the more likely is a good or even full recovery from a stroke symptoms. Unfortunately, the time frame, the window of opportunity to give the drug is actually quite narrow, uh, up to three hours. Although recent evidence has, has suggested that, in fact, TPA given intravenously may be beneficial for reversing symptoms of stroke and can be safe up to four and a half hours. But uh, it's still only approved up till now uh, for three hours. Okay, and what about other options available for, for treating a stroke, knowing that, you know, that, that is time sensitive there with TPA? Well, there are other uh, options out there. Under special circumstances, the TPA can be directed uh, uh, directly at a clot mm -hmm. by uh, injecting it through a catheter that is snaked up through an artery in the leg all the way up to the blood vessels in the brain. The FDA has also approved a device called the Mercy Retriever, which is basically looks like a corkscrew mm -hmm. uh, at the end of a catheter that can mechanically hook and retrieve a clot that is lodged in a blood vessel. There are other contraptions out there that can also mechanically disrupt and remove clots, but they're considered investigational and we're not sure if they actually have a big impact on uh, reversing the symptoms of a stroke. But uh, th those those other additional therapies are typically only provided at uh, stroke centers, uh, specialized stroke centers at large hospitals and university hospitals. Okay, well, Dr. Grunsfeld, thank you so much for joining us for tonight's topic. Thank you very much. And for additional information, visit our web channel at wcab.tv.